Sonny Landreth is a native of Mississippi who moved to Lafayette at an early age and found his way mixing blues and rock, Cajun and Zydeco, and writing about life in South Louisiana. I woke up in Mississippi in 51. My great and next door became a native staff son. I grew up on the rhythm of Clifton and Cleveland and the red hot Louisiana band. A bit of the autobiographical song South of I-10, live in our studio from guitarist Sonny Landreth, about his cultural journey from Mississippi into the music and musicians of South Louisiana. It's a place famous for Cajun and Creole, blues and swamp pop sounds, and the nightclubs and dance halls that dot the region. The Lafayette boom till they capped off shore. The old families couldn't take it no more. At two steps too fast, with the one foot slow. I lost my partner when we hit the floor. Hello, don't say. Sonny Landreth talking to us with his Fender Stratocaster and his uh, slide there. Welcome to American Roots. Well, it's great to be here, Nick. Thanks so much. Tell me a little about your uh, your upbringing in Mississippi and, and uh, you know, the family world and the world of music as a young guy. Well, yeah, I was born in uh, Canton, Mississippi, which is right outside of Jackson. And um, for me, my <laughs> earliest recollections would have been with my brother Steve. And he was always bringing a lot of music into the house, you know, records, and we listened to the radio, entertained the, the relatives playing the little plastic Elvis Presley guitars of the day. So I think that's what got me started and <laughs> set me on my path. By the time we moved uh, to Lafayette in 1958, um, which was a culture shock for me. Lafayette, in Louisiana. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was a big jump. You were born in 1951, and in some ways, the 50s and into the 60s, that's the guitar decade in American life. I mean, Elvis and rock and roll. And mm -hmm. uh, Do you think it was that kind of guitar environment in America that touched you, or was it what's going on around Mississippi and, and Lafayette uh, as you grow up that, that got I think, you? I think a bit of both, and it sure was because... If you think of all the music in the area, I grew up hearing everything from Cajun, Zydeco, blues, R&B, jazz, but guitar was always my first love. And I guess I was, I was 13 when my dad got my first guitar for me. So I'd already been smitten by Scotty Moore. You mentioned Elvis. Um, the Beatles came, the invasion. And still, in, and within a year and a half, I heard um, Hendrix and Baton Rouge I heard B.B. King in New Iberia, and I heard Clifton Chenier at the Blue Angel Club in Lafayette. We're going to party! We're going to party! We're going to party! We're going to party! He saw us from the door. I was probably about 16, and that was his neighborhood haunt, you know, the Blue Angel Club, and he lived like one street over his, his house, and uh, he said, uh, hey, so come on in here. You know, so we, we were real shy as you can imagine so me and my buddy go in and that was my first experience with the creole community and really feeling invited in and it was one of the greatest experiences of my life then they started playing and it blew my mind Uh, Sonny, is there a tune that you play now or from those days with around Clifton Chenier that uh, maybe shows your connection from where you started to how you got into the Cajun and Creole music? Um, yeah, there's actually a tune. I, 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 I never had a name for it. I call it Zodigo Shuffle just because I was influenced by Clifton and in the way he would do shuffles. And at the same time, I, I found a way to uh, 
incorporate some of these techniques using my palm to emulate some of the sounds of the accordion and the fiddle and rub board all at the same time. Sonny Landreth here with us in the studio talking over uh, how the guitar and he and the voice and I guess the spirit all come together. Let me ask you, who are some of your blues heroes uh, on the guitar and, and lyrically out there? I think for me, when I got into slide guitar and started discovering Robert Johnson and uh, Mississippi John Hurt and a lot of the other bluesmen, that's where it kind of came together for me in terms of... Um, well, as, as the story song tradition mm -hmm. and the fact that these guys were, they were the whole program. They were, right. they're, they're supporting the lyric of the song, they're telling the story, they're singing, they're playing the guitar. And uh, they're playing lead, ex, bass, all rhythm. That, yeah. All that together. Yeah. And I think at the heart of it, blues is always, it's the common thread. And, and, and everyone had that as a, in a way a point of reference. Do you still uh, do any of the old country blues type things? Or um, I had uh, getting in the finger style approach and and using the slide and and I hit on this tune by Robert Wilkins that actually the Rolling Stones uh, did on Beggar's Banquet. They Robert Wilkins, it, right? And they called it Prodigal Son. This is part of that song. <laughs> Back Down to Earth. The Rolling Stones brought Back Down to Earth uh, through the spirit medium of Sonny Landreth, who's doing the Robert Wilkins uh, <laughs> song that he is, is reprising here for us on American Roots. It, it's, it is really nice to hear you play that kind of classic cross-picking country blues. Maybe you could give us a little walking tour of your slide 
uh, technique there. I know you've done some interesting things over the years, and you don't have to give away all the company secrets, but just you know. that's going to cost you. <laughs> well, it's going to cost you. Well, we'll, no, we'll get the listeners to give the public <laughs> radio then. <laughs> yes, kick in, folks. <laughs> well, actually, you know, basic slide. You, you, what I learned, and especially a lyrical approach to guitar, where you hit the nail on the head. It's really a vocal quality. So that's the basic slide, and, and you want to get, it's about the vibrato, it's tone and phrasing, which I'm a freak for. But without boring everyone horribly, uh, I learned to use my fingers behind the glass with a slide at the same time. So I could go from major tune to minor. So. So that opened up for me, and I took that approach, and what you have is a combination of fretted notes and the notes that are being made from the slide itself. But it's really about your voice, and by that I mean your voice on guitar. It's really amazing to hear it. Um, you've also kind of gone inside uh, cultural things, too, it seems to me. I know you do you do a waltz uh, somewhere in the mix. I've, I've heard you do waltzes. Oh, That's not what you that. associate with uh, with blues or roots rock, necessarily. But you, you do waltz once in well, a while. Well, we need to change that. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, when I started sitting with my friends, with Michael Dissay and Beausoleil and Tommy Lisi and all those guys, um, I really fell in love with playing waltzes on bottleneck slide mm -hmm. and and i i realized that the phrasing is perfect for bottleneck slide and for the way that the approach that i had i have to admit i'm, I'm dying to hear how you would do a waltz with well the bottleneck no, slide. no, no, no you're getting a little far now. <laughs> i have no name for this waltz so maybe the listeners can come up with a name for this the boss is c'est pas non me Guitar voice of Lafayette, Louisiana, Sonny Landreth, live in our studios.